Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna do a more in-depth review and a deep dive into the Sixth Sense bait chambers. And welcome back. So right now, we're gonna take an in-depth review on the Sixth Sense bait chambers. If you watched my last video where I talked about all my different storage options, I did a little bit of a review on these, but I want to get more in depth because there's not a whole lot of information out there on these different types of tackle organizers. And the few that there are, it's from Six Cent sponsored people, and it doesn't get into the in depth stuff as a consumer that I would really want to know. So you can get these from Tackle Warehouse, you can get them from Fisherman Central. I believe Omnia Fishing has them. You can get them directly from Six Cents. Depending on where you buy them and which one you want, the prices vary. They vary from between $35 to $50, kind of depending on where you get them and which rendition you want of these. I believe these were $35 for all three of them when I got them. So just check around on your sales. Let's go ahead and get a deep dive in these. And I'm gonna start off with the trace itself so like i said we're going to talk about the trace so if you're like me and you don't throw a whole lot of swim baits in general and you're just trying to learn how to use a swim bait get effective with the swim bait um, i went with the trace because they're cheaper i believe they were i got them on sale for 15 dollars a piece for the actual traces themselves one of the really cool things about the trace is it does come with this soft plastic tail and the tails can be interchanged. If you've ever used a trace swim bait, you do know that they come with those these uh, rubber tails. So what really makes this case exceptional is you can hold four traces, but you can also hold four tails. So each slot has two tails. So I can actually keep all of the baits and all their tails in one location. It is EVA foam and it's been laser cut to fit the trace and its hooks perfectly. Again, EVA foam laser cut to fit the tails perfectly. On the other side is a softer foam. And what that does is that when you close it and latch it, the only pressure that your baits actually feel is from the EVA foam and that softer foam coming together on it. So it really protects the bait. It really protects the finishes. It doesn't let the hooks themselves get dull. One of the things that I, one of the dislikes, I don't know if you want to say a dislike, but one thing that does concern me is they're not waterproof. So just like your normal um, Plano Pro Latches or your Flambos or whatever you use, um, if, these get, if these get submerged or if these get wet, the water is going to leak in. Over time, if it happens quite often, I'm not sure what it's going to do to the foam itself. I don't have that long-term review on these and I try to keep extreme careful as I can with these containers so that it doesn't happen. But the other one is the plastic itself is very, very thin. It makes it really light, which I like. But again, you know, longevity, is this plastic going to hold up? I have no idea. Same with the hinge design. The hinges are just all plastic. So there's no metal at all in there. Are the hinges going to hold up over time? You know, I don't know. I don't have enough experience or time with these to know durability or longevity. All I do know is they fit the trace swim baits amazingly and it's gonna keep the fit and finish perfect and it's gonna keep the hooks sharp for me. The next one I wanna get into is my least favorite of the bunch. And when it's not a knock on six cents itself, but it's just the type of fishing I do and the misinformation that six cents customer service gave me. So this is for medium crankbaits. So just like the title says, medium crankbaits. That's going to be anything that dives less than 10 feet. What I did, I was hesitant on purchasing this one. I reached out to Six Sense. I said, hey, I have a lot of your Cloud 9 C10s and a lot of your C15s. Will they fit in here? And they said, yep, without a doubt, it's made to fit all of those types of baits. Um, you can go ahead and purchase one. C10s and C15s actually do not fit at all in here. Just to kind of show you, here is a Six Sense Cloud 9 C15. And just by looking at it without even trying, you can tell that this bait is not going to fit in here. So, I mean, the one bait, would you would have to cut the foam out and it would take up two slots to carry one bait. I don't have any C10s um, readily available to try it. But again, you can tell with the 15, if the 15 is not going to fit in there, the 10 is not going to fit in there. I went on to Tackle Warehouse's website and Tackle Warehouse says the C6s, that this is specifically made for the C6s. 
So if you use the Cloud9 C6s, they, these will fit perfectly. Um, another thing too with these ones is anything that is around the same size as a C6 will work. So if you look up here, I do have some Strike King um, Series 3s. And then I also have a Norman here that um, dives to 7 feet. And then this is just a custom eight foot painted crankbait that I bought off of Facebook, off of a painter. If you are if you are someone that uses baits that run from six to eight feet, this will fit perfect. If you like the Cloud 9s, C6s or C7s, again, they'll fit in here perfect. You have the EVA foam cutout so that they fit in there snug. They have the opening for the hooks so that the hooks don't rattle around or get caught on anything. On this one, you can put your baits on both sides. And again, the EVA foam protects it so that when it closes, the EVA foam sandwiches together. And this bait does not actually hit and rub up against this bait. It allows you to hold more baits. You can hold up to 24 baits on here. So the difference between this one and that trace is that it can hold actually 12 baits on each side. So you get a total of 24 baits versus the four baits on the trace case but also this case is bigger. It's about the same size as a 3700 to where the trace is about the size of a 3600. Same features that you get in the trace, a really thin, light plastic, plastic hinges, not waterproof. Again, if you're just careful with your products and you just sit this in your um, storage container or your storage bin or whatever you're carrying, leave it there, you're completely fine. This isn't something that I would leave on the top of the deck of the boat. Because if it does kick, if you do actually kick it in, it's going to sink and it's going to ruin everything in this. And last but not least is the shallow diving crankbait box that I bought. And this one is by far the my absolute favorite case that, of the bait chamber lineup, but of all tackle organization that I have. So if anybody knows me, they know that I absolutely love throwing a 1.5 uh, square bill. I have 1.5s tied on everywhere I go. No matter the time of year, if I get frustrated and I can't get a bite, I'm going straight to a square bill and I'm just going to crank it all day. Just like with the medium diving crankbaits, you get spots on both sides. So again, you can it can hold up to 24 baits, which is phenomenal. I don't see myself ever needing more than 24 baits when I'm out fishing for the day. Um, and the way that it's set up perfectly for me is I have different types of baits set up. So on this side, these are all my silent, no rattle baits. And on this side is all of my rattling bait. Living in Northern Ohio, fishing a lot of Ohio and Michigan waters, we fish a lot of clear water lakes. So the silent baits get used probably three to four times more than the rattling baits. Even if I'm fishing dingier water, I will still go to a silent bait just because it's something different that these high pressure lakes haven't seen before. A lot of people immediately just grab your rattling baits and I prefer to go to the, the silent baits just because it's a, it's the same technique, but it gives the fish something different when they're looking at it. With this bait chamber, you can actually put in any size square bill crankbaits or any brand square bill crankbaits that's a 1.5 size. So if you look, I do have some six cents. I have some old Excalibur XCSs. I have Strike Kings. I have Academy's H2O Express in here. On the flip side here, I have some custom painted crankbaits that I bought off of Facebook. I've also put some of the old school Rick Clun Lucky Crafts in here. If you are a well-versed square bill fisherman, you know how great those Rick Clun's Lucky Craft 1.5s were. So the way that I have these set up is if I were to ever lose one of these baits, the next, well, next time or that day when I get home, I just go into tackle. I grab an extra crankbait, throw it in here. So this thing is always stock. It also carries every color that I need. If there's ever a reason that I might need a specific color. So if I need a craw, I have my craws. I have my natural bluegills and my natural perches. I got my natural shads. I got a chartreuse. I got a tilapia. So if I'm fishing those dirtier waters, I have a chartreuse and a brighter colors. When I'm fishing those clearer lakes, I have the chrome colors or the natural colors. It allows me to carry 24 baits on there so I can carry for any situation that I get faced with. And again, like all the other ones, same plastic. This is virtually the same case that the medium one is. The only difference is the label and the EVA laser cutout is different because these are to fit the 1.5s not the six foot deep divers. Since switching over to the, um, the bait chamber for my square bills and crankbaits, it's been phenomenal for me because even if I'm fishing for the bank, I have the handle so I can carry this with me and then I can sit it in the grass when I'm actually fishing and I can again have all my crankbaits with me everywhere I go every time I fish. 
Um, it's compact, it's small. I can take this if I'm fishing as a co-angler on a tournament as well. Um, just, I can't say enough good things about these. My only reservations with any of the bait chambers is longevity. Just being a thinner plastic and being plastic hinged. I don't know if these are gonna be any worse or any better than the ones you get from your normal Flambo or Plano boxes anyways. But we'll see, I've only had these for a few months now. They've worked great for the few months I have used them. I would recommend these to anybody that needs a, a good, efficient way to store baits. So in all, please let me know, do you guys like the bait chambers? Is this something that you guys are interested in? Are you guys gonna pass on these? Is it just not something that appeals to you? Let me know in the comments. I love to read comments. I love to have conversations with you guys. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, and please, if you want to stay tuned for more content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys on the water.